Yorkasaur, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Spyro's Adventures in the Peacekeepers world. In the last episode we went around the place, explored and we took a nice night flight. So now we are just finishing off some of the other levels here. And the best place to start I figured was going to be with this ice cavern. So let's check out what's down here. So while I was away, I... I have to admit, I didn't do as much as I hoped I was going to do, but I kept myself occupied, and it was good to actually just take a short break from uh, making my videos, because most of my free time these days seems to be spent making videos. And that was a very quick arrival, so let's see what we have. Okay. Well, this is pretty already. So let's see... Oh, nothing behind us. Okay. I'm hearing... Oh! You look like a yeti nork or something. Okay. We'll come back to you in a moment. There's a path behind the starting zone. And... I'm not disappointed. Oh, a little platform there. Maybe it leads to something. Possibly. Maybe. Could be something down there. Well, anyway, the gems are pointing me towards this treasure chest. Oh, it's a blue one. Okay. There we go. That was a decent little haul. Already up to 14. I dare say there's probably 400 in this level as well. So we're going to have a, my work cut out for me, I think. Alright, so... What's he going to do? He's keeping his eye on me. Probably... Charging won't do much because he does look rather big. Maybe it's going to be a case of rushing and flame. So let's do that. Alright. So quick flame will dispatch those guys. Okay. So I'm just looking around at the moment. Making sure there's nothing else I haven't missed. Oh! Oh, there's a bat. Oh, okay. That's our health. So it's actually a bit of a uh, exception to the rule about bats. These bats are designed to just be annoying and get in your way. And sometimes they're downright scary. I mean, I remember being scared of the keys in Dodongo's Cavern in Ocarina of Time. And, oh, look at that. Now, well, maybe they're just going to hang out and be chill. Let's hope they do that. Okay. But I spot a dragon by the name of Ulrich. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <clears throat> like me, before charging those large enemies. Well, I kind of worked that out myself, but thank you. And I don't know why I'm suddenly getting subtitles. Okay, that's a bit unusual. Um, why am I getting subtitles all of a sudden? Alright, there we go. Don't need those subtitles. Anyway. So, big strong Auric. Not bad. Anyway. Nice little ten gem in the window there. So obviously the level's dragging me this way. But what's through here? Okay, I can't melt these icicles. Can I hop down there at all? Or is the camera going to be locked? Okay, the camera's going to be locked. I'm very afraid of what might happen if I go out there. So I'll just skip doing that. Anyway, let's move on back through here. Oh, more snowball throwing orcs. And treasure chests. And more big guys. And... Nah, I didn't get all of them. There we go. Now, little tower in the middle of... Things with nothing on top. Okay, it's just there is a distraction. Ooh. Camera lifted up there. Seemingly on its own. Okay, is that a platform down there? 
Or is that false advertising? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And... That didn't go very well. Strike up another death on the death counter. Alright. Well, we've got 17 of them, so... I'm not too worried. Besides, they'll give me all... Uh, more life orbs when I kill these enemies, so... I'm not sure about that, but then again... Hmm. Let's look at it from a different angle. I mean, is that a cave going somewhere? No, I think it's just false promises. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's not death. That's just a floor. And some more bats. Nope. Nope. You're not hitting me. Nope. Ooh. Okay. Treasure chests I can't get to. I think I have to go around there to make it over there. And they're probably up there. Oh, no. I can jump up here. Okay. Right. And then I should just be able to do that. I'm still a horrible shot for this. Gotta remember that I can't exactly steer as, uh, well, when I'm charging, or at least it's just better to just charge and then go for it. There we go. We've already reached our uh, first hundred. Ah, so there's a key somewhere. Okay. Where might this key be? Hmm. Anyway. Onwards. And into a wall as usual. Now let's get these gems. Priorities after all. Uh, and now let's get the dragon. Total. Spyro. Some big norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave... Armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Okay, thank you, big tall archer dragon. Hmm, okay. So now we're at that stage where I've got uh, a choice to make. Okay, I see the key. Oh, that looks like a very dangerous... That looks... How do I get over there? Must be from... Coming out the next hole there or something. Oh, surely I can... Sparks, why aren't you grabbing those gems for me? Why can't I get them? That's... Really weird. Maybe I... Oh, there we go. Okay. There's a solution for everything, almost. And if there's no solution, well then it's meant to be that way, I guess. Okay. Ooh. No, that's not a little hole, that's just a rock. It's a little bit hard to tell. Sometimes. Okay, so if this guy's supposed to be slippery... How do I...? Well, not like that. And not like that either. Okay, um... There were bats back here. There were probably bats back there. But in particular, I definitely saw there being bats there. Oh no! I missed a gem up there. Ooh. Okay, there was a reason for coming back this way, then. Ah, uh, I hear them. Come here. Give me your butterflies. Thank you. And you too. Oh, life butterfly. Awesome. Or super butterfly, whatever they're called. I don't know. I never grew up with Spyro. I don't know the exact names for everything. Anyway, we still have to sort out... 
Yeah. That guy there. Apparently, oh, hang on, I'm about to get a snowball thrown at me. Get back here, you. Thank you. Alright, well, we'll grab those. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, we're meant to knock you off the edge. Alright. I like that. There we go. I do like knocking things off edges. Environmental damage is one of my favourite ways of killing in games. Because if the game's going to give me a mechanic, I might as well use it. Okay. Now this, if I keep right, should lead me to where I saw that key. There we go. More nicely gotten gains, and you've got to remember to actually face the way I want to run before I run. Like that. Come on, show your face. Thank you. So up to 19 lives. So I'm actually doing pretty well. At least I think I'm doing pretty well. In terms of my death to uh, lives ratio, I suppose. Well, I'm doing a lot better than Bubsy, that's for sure. Anyway, Andor, probably brother of Todor. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. Hope to see more of him. All right, big guy. There we go. Now, there is a path to some treasure chests. And that's where the key is. Oh, it's from over there. Okay, so I've got to go all the way around to there. No, no, that's where I was before, wasn't it? Yes, that's where I was before. So maybe I am supposed to glide all the way over from there. Okay. As I was talking about, um, maybe that um, ratio is about to get a bit of a hammering. Oh well, let's get this over and done with. Thank you, fairy. I forget what your name is. Oh, 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 oh. Glad I remembered that hole was there. Let's just take this a little bit more carefully. There we go. Now. Okay. So if that's there, now there was the platform sticking out, which is up there. Which we get to from going through this little bit up here. Okay. Right, so... Just as an aside, I wonder if I can just make this jump. Yes, I can. Oh, no. Not quite. But almost. Okay. Let's try this again. And we'll... Oh, no, I'll just do a little bit of a glide. Okay. Right, so... This looks a lot safer to make this jump. Alright, wish me luck. Oh, that was just uh, so close to death there. All right, well, now that I have the key... <gasps> don't fall off. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to do any more falling off. But hey, we've learned something. Heights can kill you in this game, even if you have little wings. Now, let's just take that carefully again. Go up and around. Not run into the wall. No, we've got to go through this little loopy bit again. That's okay. I hope this chest is worth it and it's got um, a zillion gems in it. Okay. Just go over. And let's do the thing. Okay, that's 
a decent haul. I will accept that. Now, I mean, I could go back through that jump, but I hate risky jumps. I hate risky jumps. So let's just take the nice and easy, if slower way, without steering myself off the cliffs. Oh, hang on. That's an edge of the cave over there. Is there a platform I could jump over to? No, that looks like scenery up there, so I don't think so. Okay. Now we'll head back into this cave. Hey, hang on, I thought I heard something. It wasn't me. I'm hearing something running about. Something sounds like it's running about. Okay. Might be hearing an enemy in the distance, or I'm even hearing the music. Because, I mean, after all, I don't know the music for this game. Thank you, Sparks. You could have done that just a fraction earlier. That would have been appreciated. But there we go. Alright, more gems. I want all the gems. Shinies are good when you're a dragon. Okay, this is... Yep, okay, this is slippery. This is slippery. There we are. Now. Can I... Oh. How? Oh, here. Okay. And I have to do a little bit of precision jumping, obviously. Now, I suppose it's better I fall... down, um... Onto the platform rather than off the other side. And okay, that's how we get into this area over here. Now uh, let's see. Oh, it's all full of these guys to knock over. Alright. Well then. Let's make it happen. Okay. Oh, good. I don't have to jump over Doom. Hey, it's. More of that purple goop. What is up with the purple goop? Okay. Oh. Oh, you're on skis. Okay, so that makes you faster. Right. Okay, here's another bozo. Oh, right. Let's do it again. Ooh, you're tough. There we go. Okay. That one, and we'll just knock into this one like so. Check there's nothing down here. But it only just seems to be purple goop. Okay. Alright. Oh. Okay, so, oh, another one. Just want to eliminate my dangers. Triathlon! Okay. I don't know what I needed to do to achieve that, but I achieved it. There we are. Just knock those down. Hopefully not get shot by him, though I fear I'm about to. That was a lucky dodge. At least the snowballs are slow. Okay, I'm just checking over in the corners here. That looks like a platform. No, it's not. That looks like Doom. Pretending to be a platform. Right, so... Well, there's some more bats up there. And, oh, hello bats! Thank you. Right, now... Can I jump on top of that? No. Didn't look like there was much up there anyway. Okay. 
Oh good, you're right on an edge. I can knock you off. Hopefully before you hit me. And again, before you hit me. There we go. Oh, right. Snowball dude from earlier can do that. There we go. Now let's get these treasure chests because I have my priorities straight. There we go. Ragnar. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Uh, ready for what? Yeah, okay. Maybe my suspicions about there being some kind of story destiny thing. It mightn't be a running, or it might be a running joke, or it uh, might actually be real. So that's something worth exploring as the game goes on. I'm glad that they're giving these little teasers. Because not sure if serious fry face here. All right, I want you there. And I think that's a one-way wall, okay. Bang. Oh. Come on. Thank you. Now. This is probably where the last of the gems are, in this little room here. Well, we've got about ten to go. Oh, what an absolute tease. Two lives up there and not sure how I would get that. That is a tease and a half. Okay. Now that I've been sufficiently teased about that, there must be... Some way to get up there. Oh, and all these chests are giving low amounts. Asher. Thanks for freeing me, Spyro. And now, where was I? Yes, where were you? I think you were here. Anyway. Oh, good. There we go, now I feel a little bit more satisfied. But I'm still not convinced about those things over here, I mean... That is such a tease. There's got to be some way to get up there. Has to be. And having two lives just sitting about. Possibly more. Okay, any little platforms leading up? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Well, maybe I was supposed to jump from there over onto these things here. But then, how would I get through the doorway here and stay up? That's rather confusing. Maybe it's just there to tease me, but... Ah. Uh, why have those lives sitting about? Okay, well, let's just jump back up here. And look at our options. So they're off around the corner there somewhere. If I wanted to get them, I'd have to glide over from probably up there, through those two pillars, and around to them. And I'm not sure if that's worth it. Okay. Let's go home. Ah, so that was a rather productive little level. If we didn't get those two lives there, 
but I think we've had a very good run. I believe we've done all the levels poking off of the Peacekeeper's World now, which basically leaves us with the boss level. And that, I think, is situated up here, if memory serves. Let's just get him running back to their tents. Nope. No cannon. So the boss level. Right here. And that is going to have to wait for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I will see you next Tuesday for Spyro, and this Friday for a new series. So until then, Otsukare-sama.